crazy. This just in, a rock singer has an idea. Even better, it's my scuba partner, Bono. He wants to deploy comics against radical Islamics. U2's lead singer was on Capitol Hill, wherever that is, this week urging lawmakers to do more to help refugees fleeing war zones in the Middle East. He's also got a new strategy to counter extremist propaganda. Kill him with laughter. Don't laugh, but I think uh, comedy should be deployed. <laughs> We've seen this game before. They're very vain. They've got all the signs up. They're really, it's, it's, it's show business. It's like you speak violence, you speak their language, but you laugh at them when they're goose-stepping down the street, and it takes away their power. So I'm, I'm suggesting that the Senate send in Amy Schumer and Chris Rock <laughs> and uh, Sasha Baron Cohen. Now, could it work? I don't know. I wasn't listening. However, one suspect from last month's Brussels bombing, which killed 32 people, his name was Osama Krayem, obviously Polish, was actually the subject of a documentary on successful integration in Sweden, which begs the question, who would ever watch a documentary on successful integration in Sweden? It doesn't exist. All right, Pete, uh, you have experience fighting bad guys. I actually think Bono's on to something, but that's not enough. What are your thoughts? Uh, I don't think Bondo is, Bono is on to anything. Or his uh, friend Bondo. <laughs> Bondo, yes. yes. I'll work on pronunciation That's his of sticky Bono brother. Later on, oh. yes. <laughs> well played. No. Uh, Sad. <laughs> I mean, ISIS would laugh at us. All they would do is confirm our absolute decadence that we're sending the raunchy comedian Amy Schumer, who has funny movies, and I enjoy those movies. Uh, I, I don't want to get all serious and, and morbid, but, you know, the last female mm. journalist we had over the Kayla Mueller was a sex slave to yeah. Omar al-Baghdadi. That is how they view women. That is how they treat women. That's how they treat the West. And so a few jokes from a comic. Listen, he figured out, as we talked about before, that free markets are better than giving away aid. Right. I mean, he's a sensible guy. This is not such a serious proposal. Stephen, I have a th theory. Um, I think Bono, was, it was a sly critique on the choices celebrities make to protest. Right. He was like saying, okay, you guys protest fracking and you protest the environment, race, sexism. This is actually something you should be looking at. Do you think maybe he was doing that or no? I have no idea, Greg. <laughs> um, <laughs> No, I, I, you know, I turn 50 next month, and uh, Bono's 55, yeah. and, uh, you know, there's kind of this hormone balancing you can do now. Um, um, and uh, for, for me, what's, what's really creepier about that is, you know, God bless Bono. He's a talented guy. He's really given us some wonderful music. U2 is amazing. But to say what he said, and then afterwards, I, I, I read something uh, afterwards where it said something like, well, ha, 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 he, 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 like... Like, that was funny, Bono, and he goes, yeah, but I was serious. You know, he, <laughs> he like, no, but I meant it. So that, you know, but the thing is, strange. Abby, uh, you know, so many celebrities are terrified of talking about ISIS because they're afraid of Islamophobia right. phobia. So at least he's talking Give about him credit. it. I'm, I'm so desperate for anybody to say anything about, about ISIS. I love the, how he said it at the very top, don't laugh at me. Yeah. <laughs> but then A.B. Schumer, I think, tweeted out, uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm supposed to do this. You know, he's assuming that terrorists are somehow real human beings, like the real terrorists. They, they have real yeah. human emotions that they can yeah. laugh and they can feel with music. And the one that you just mentioned, that, that Polish guy, maybe he was unique. Yeah. Uh, but for the most part, we're not talking about <laughs> real human beings here. Yeah. So I wish that that worked, but the reality is laughing is not going to get them to stop what they're doing. And also, uh, Kat. <laughs> Uh, a lot of these guys that are joining ISIS have already been immersed in pop culture. Mm -hmm. They have been, uh, they come from uh, uh, England, America, they listen to hip hop. I don't know if music and comedy might work on them at this point. I don't think that they find us very funny. <laughs> I think they find a lot of things about us, but not funny, which is what, what did you mean you think he's on to something? What is he on to? The I meant he's on something. All time? <laughs> he's well, not on to, what, I'm serious, Greg, what, what, what is he on to? He's on to the idea. Oh, now I gotta remember what I he's said. On my iPhone. Not, there's nothing he's on to. Be willing to talk about it. Be willing to talk about it. The fact I think that he might have yeah. been poking other celebrities to finally say something. I'm uh -huh. trying. To, I I idolize Bono. Oh, so I I'm, yeah, I want to find. I want I want to get him on this show, Cat. Oh. <laughs> so okay. I'm trying not to insult him for God's oh, sake. Uh, okay. Joanne. Okay. What if we sent soldiers disguised as comedians and then they and they all showed up to see Amy Schumer and then we killed them all. Um, I think 
We should just put on a production of Sister Act nice. or something. I mean, if we're going to role play or do all these things to entertain them, I found that musical very entertaining. Send Whoopi Goldberg, right? She's, yeah. she's good for a change. No, but seriously. She's Bono, tough, too. Yeah. Bono had some good points about helping refugees. Like, that was the other part of his right. pitch, which, like, you know, yeah, focus on that because I do think with your celebrity, you can do a lot of good. There is a lot of change you can bring. But when it comes to fighting terrorists, I don't, I don't know that any sort of, you know, philosophical or higher thinking is really going to do it. Mm -hmm. Well, the other part of your lead was about the video in 2005. Yeah. yeah. That was called Without Borders. It was yeah. about soccer and integration. Turns out if you just play a little soccer. It's all good. Some radical problem. Islamists, it's all good. Yes. Uh, turns out not so much. Yes. <laughs> it helped me. I was an AYSO for five years, <laughs> and I'm not a terrorist. Well, there you go. <laughs> all right. Coming up, my birthday. It's not till September, but you can start planning now. I wear a medium. All right. Why is Match.com getting crap for its new ad campaign? No idea. I'm married. I don't have these problems. Stick around. If you'll be in the New York area and would like to be part of our studio audience, email gregticks at foxnews.com.